Hello, George Ramanich here. In today's video, we are going to examine a case of a completely crazy and hypothetical atmosphere in which temperature exponentially decreases with the altitude. Upon making that assumption, we will see how pressure would respond and what would be the profile of the pressure with height. I can tell you we are very happy that we don't live in such an atmosphere because life as we know it would not exist definitely. Even if the life would exist, who knows how it would look like. Perhaps our noses would be completely different shape and size. And I will remind you that in one of the very first videos on this channel, Atmosphere as a Continuum, I demonstrated that big noses are good noses, at least from the point of view of atmosphere and air being a continuum. This is completely not related to today's video, but it crossed my mind right now, so I said why not saying it. Without any further ado, let's see what would happen if temperature exponentially decreases with the height. Let's start by sketching this problem. Here is, let's say, surface of the Earth, Z equals naught, and we have temperature T naught and pressure P naught at the surface. Some distance away, there is a height Z, and uh, at that height we have temperature T and pressure P. Clearly, this is the vertical z-axis. What we are considering in this video is a hypothetical situation in which temperature exponentially decreases with the height. Now, what would be a general expression for some exponential decrease? Well, we would say that temperature as a function of height has a form T naught, it starts from surface value and then exponentially decreases minus Kz. Minus Kz because it decreases with height Z and minus K is the scale factor. And you can see that this scale factor has to have units of 1 over M, 1 over meter, in order to have unitless quantity in the exponent. Now this scale factor k will tell us how rapid this exponential decrease is. So this is the expression now that we will combine with hydrostatic equation. dp dz is minus rho g, where rho is air density, g is gravitational acceleration. I will use equation of state to eliminate density p is equal rho r d t, where r d is gas constant for dry air, so I am assuming here that air is perfectly dry. Expressing rho from this equation and substituting here, we get that d p over p is equal minus g over r d t d z. Now we have to integrate this differential equation using the limits that we see in this figure over here. So integral of dp over p and pressure is going from p naught to pressure p is equal minus g over rd. These are constants so I can put them in front of the integral and the integral is dz over t because t is function of height and it is the following function of height t naught e to negative kz and the z is going from zero to some height z above the surface. Now I will just simplify this right side by moving t naught in front of the integral so this is g. I also moved this upstairs but removed negative sign. Now this is very simple integral to solve. This is basically a table based integral. I hope that you know that integral e to some ax is equal 1 over a e ax and then plus let's say constant c if this is indefinite integral. 
I mean, let's be serious here, you shouldn't use table of integrals or anything like that. We see ln p over p naught, that's this integral over here with limits inserted, is equal to negative g over r d t naught over k and then times e k z minus 1. e k z is the upper limit and 1 is lower limit because when z is not this goes to 1. Lastly I will pass with exponential function through this expression in order to get that p is equal p naught e to g over r d t naught k into 1 minus e k z. Don't you agree this is very interesting expression? It looks quite complicated to be honest, but this is how pressure would decrease with the height if temperature decreases exponentially. And I just couldn't resist, so I made a graph of this situation. Here we have pressure in hectopascals and on the y-axis we have height in kilometers. The thick line represents the behavior of the pressure with height if temperature exponentially decreases with altitude. Look at this crazy line. This line is this function over here that I just derived, this function. If we start with 1000 hectopascals at the surface, which is also 1000 millibars, and in this calculation I use that air temperature at the surface is 0 degrees Celsius, then notice that pressure almost falls to zero at only four kilometers above the surface. Look how rapidly pressure decreases with the height. And this is because it is not shown here, but temperature at this height is approximately 1.2 kelvins. And this is colder than temperature in uh, deep space, that is approximately 2.7. Kelvins. So this shows you how severe and rapid exponential decrease actually is. Some of you might ask what is this dotted line? This dotted line is regular exponential decrease of pressure that we experience in our atmosphere. Now I claim that if this k scale factor is very very small then thick line should asymptotically approach dotted line. I hope you can see that from the expression that I derived, this expression. If you can't see that, you will be able to understand that in the next video. Now, to conclude with, you will remember this graph from uh, one of my previous videos. We covered the situations when temperature is constant with height, when temperature linearly decreases with height, when temperature has autoconvective lapse rate, and in all these cases we saw how pressure changes with altitude. Furthermore, we now also see situation if temperature exponentially decreases with altitude and how pressure looks like. I didn't want to add this graph over here because here we have actually situations that can occur in our beautiful atmosphere, whereas here I am not aware of uh, a phenomena where temperature exponentially decreases with height, at least over some long reasonable distance. If you know some, please let me know in the comment section below. Isn't this a crazy hypothetical atmosphere. Aren't you happy that you live on this beautiful planet where we don't have to deal with this craziness? In next video we will dwell a little bit on the mathematics of this problem because I find this expression very interesting, it's double exponential blah blah blah, and we'll try to see if we can prove that for very very small k, in other words when k tends to zero, 
this expression collapses to the classical expression of isothermal atmosphere. Until that video, goodbye.